I spent uh, four enjoyable days on the Clarence. It's, uh, it's a very nice river. Uh, very underutilized, uh, not many uh, boats on it. Uh, and uh, it's got some wonderful jetties all the way along. So you can go from here to uh, Amara, and it's got a lovely jetty there. You can carry on down to Bush Grove, where there's a lovely pub where you can get a nice meal. And uh, there's a lovely jetty there. You carry on down, there's another jetty at Lawrence, and there's a jetty at McLean. And then you can carry on right down to Yamba, where you can uh, park in the marina for the night. So if you want a holiday where you can uh, moor up every night on a nice jetty where there's no, nobody's going to be there, it's, and uh, go and have a meal in a pub, it's a fantastic uh, place to come. Uh, very uh, easy sailing here. There's just, it's, uh, the river is pretty well is you know very deep in the middle and you know, even even close to the banks there's uh, plenty of water uh, you can get under the bridge if you've uh, if your mast height is eight, is less than 8.5 otherwise you just give them 24 hours notice and give them a ring and say you want to uh, uh, them to lift the bridge at uh, say 2 in the afternoon and uh, they'll just stop the Bruce highway and uh, let you through Kids. Up the top end is my favourite because uh, it's uh, fresh water. I think it's fresh nearly all the way down, to be honest. But it's just uh, very underutilised up the top end. You know, between say uh, McLean and uh, up right up to Glad up to Grafton, and uh, it's just very, very nice place. Just jump off the boat boat and have a swim, fresh water, nice jetties to tie up alongside and uh, great picnic areas. Stratus anchored at Lawrence on the Clarence River. Here we're heading back from uh, Lawrence to uh, Bushgrove and uh, having a great sail along this uh, piece of the river. It's, uh, I can't understand it, there's no boats on the Clarence. I can't understand why. Sailing, it's just a fantastic spot to sail. This time of the year, which Sundays is too hot. Here I've, uh, Brisbane's been sweltering, the uh, hottest day like uh, evening last night, and here I had to have a sleeping bag on. Audi canoe, it goes very well. We're on the Lawrence, a bit of a gust here. Bush Grove. Uh, this is where the uh, river divides here, and there's a south and a north arm. Just coming alongside the uh, hotel jetty at Bush Grove. Well, I have to 
put the camera down now. I've got to do the business. Well, managed to tie up on the jetty at Bushgrove on my second attempt. And um, uh, off to the pub. The boat's just through there on a pontoon at the bottom, bottom of their garden. Just left Bushgrove and we're heading towards Olmara and uh, had a nice drink at the pub there, very nice place and uh, heading for Olmara for a drink this evening. This is our typical uh, riverbank here. You can't see over the top of the fields because they've got a levee bank. And just beyond the uh, grass there, there's a road. And, uh... Stratus tied up on the Omara jetty. As you can see from this here, there's not a boat in uh, sight except for the chain ferry. It's a very unutilised river is the Clarence. Can't see why. Just past Ulmara and there's a few prawn trawlers working this stretch of the river. And there's a nice boat called a Sailor just coming by which my father wanted to buy in England, but he couldn't afford one. At the time there were £7,000 and it uh, was about the price of a house. between Almara and uh, Grafton. Looks like we're going to get a bit of rain tonight. is what you do, you take your horse for a row. This one's a
sunset on the Clarence. And that if you see in that photograph, there's hundreds of flying foxes flying across.